Brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Solberger. We're here in Burlington for the quadricentennial 400 years since Samuel de Champlain was the first European to explore the lake that would eventually become Lake Champlain. Are you Samuel de Champlain? I am Samuel de Champlain. Everything here is named after him. So for the past two weeks, people have been going gaga over the quadricentennial. Damn it, it rained on my parade. We are very used to parading in the rain, so it's <laughs> and I made a dress out of tarp just for the occasion. We're trying to stay out of the thunderstorm so we don't get hit by lightning on the metal ends of our flights. Well, dragons don't uh, are impervious to rain. And I'm Yemaya, the water goddess mermaid. Welcome to Carter Centennial. Well, it's 400 years since uh, Samuel de Champlain uh, was uh, arrived in Lake Champlain. And of course, there's 12,000 years of indigenous history that precedes him. We're, we're here not celebrating Champlain. Uh, we're here celebrating our heritage and to show people that, um, you know, that we're still here. and To bring people together from Vermont, from Quebec, from France. To celebrate Champlain. But I know that we wanted to celebrate all the cultures that came into this mixed melting pot. Uh, it's great. I love Vermont. And there's my float. <laughs> Why we're here? We've always been here. What do you mean? We're the Abenaki Nation of Vermont. Masisquoi and uh, El Nu, uh, Kawasak, and, uh, and uh, Nolhegan. We are here to support the community at their parade. Since this whole parade was in part about different cultures encounters and about coming across the waters, we're very water oriented. The creator made a Lake Champlain, and uh, Ozzy Ozo, the creator of the lake, and we're fortunate enough to be here. Uh, Ozzy Ozo, when uh, he formed himself out of um, dust, and he made his, his torso and his arms, and he tried to get up, and he couldn't get up. So he, he pushed, and he made the Adirondacks. And then he still couldn't get up, so he pushed the other side and made the Green Mountains. And he found out, he looked down, he still couldn't get up. He found out he didn't have any legs, so he carved himself out some legs, and then he lifted himself up, and uh, all of the rivers from where he tried to pull himself up drained into, uh, drained into the Bitabok, which is the lake. Even before the so-called discovery, among it's our own people, we still refer to it as the water in between. That's the uh, creation of the lake. It's not that he discovered the lake. No, it, it was here. It was here. Uh, but it was new to him. It's never changed for us. Right. That's what I'm saying. It's always changed for Euro-American, whether it be English, French, Spanish, whoever. But the native people, it's always been the same. The stories have always been handed down, and we're, we were here then, and we're still here now. So I think the, the acknowledgement of our history and, and things like arrival versus discovery is uh, is progress. Are you saying you're the champion? Oh, we, oh, we. <laughs> when I was here before, there were none of these buildings. They were all chestnut trees here. Yeah, he's one of my favorite heroes. He is, I like him a lot. As an explorer, he was uh, sort of different than the rest, and he transcended in some respects his time. He snagged the lake before the Indians did. I, I'm sure he had a lot of good intentions, uh, but it was someone else's land. The native people uh, went up and got uh, Champlain to come down to help us uh, in the conflicts with, uh, with uh, our struggles against the Iroquois. He changed the whole playing field. He brought arquebus. His muskets. He, he brought his muskets down and helped us, uh, helped us protect our homeland. Uh, obviously, that was a good thing. But with any good thing that happens, you always pay the price with pestilence, disease. Uh, where we are now, you know, encroachment on villages. Um, so I mean, it's always bittersweet. Let's take a look back 
on the day that it rained on Burlington's quadricentennial parade. Read again. <laughs> Deja vu. Vermonters displayed their true metal today when they paraded in the rain. On restera bloqué dans le Vermont with you. <laughs> so, yeah. what do you think about um, the fact that Lake Champlain is not one of the five great lakes? Oh, I never thought of it as a great lake. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Looking for lost gold. Lost gold? And land. Yeah. And lots of corn. <laughs> and sunsets. 